Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. I'm out here this morning in Apopka doing Uber Eats and DoorDash. And so far, I'm on my first ride. I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. Actually, I think I showed you guys already. Um, so I'll put that on the next clip. But I'm out here already this morning. It's about 7.20 right now. I'm already headed to drop off my first order that you'll see in just a second. So I'm hoping today's gonna be a good day. They did send me one ride that I almost took. It was six miles for $12. And I'm like, you know what? It's still a little early. Let me not do such a long ride. Um, otherwise, I probably would have took that because it wasn't a bad ride. Uh, but I hope you guys have a great day. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and then let me know that you subscribed down in the comments so I can definitely get you guys added for the giveaways. guys good morning i am out here early this morning it is about seven o'clock on wednesday morning and i already accepted my first ride it is 2.1 miles for six dollars and 23 cents so i'm heading to chick-fil-a you guys ride number one is done and i am heading to starbucks for ride number two you guys it is for starbucks 4.7 miles for nine dollars and eight cents so i'm already heading there now and it's only 7:37, so that's really good you guys i've gotten two orders now within that within this hour so that's really good i'm happy it's wednesday so hopefully it's better than yesterday uh we'll see how the rest of the day goes though all right you guys i am back at starbucks for orders number three and four well, i should do three and four right um, the first one is one mile for $7.50. Then they gave me an add-on for 1.9 miles for $9.50. So that's pretty awesome. I'm not sure which one they're going to have me deliver first. I know the $7.50 they sent me first. So we will see if they have me go there first. Um, it hasn't really been that long since they sent me the order. But I am just going to go inside because when I was here earlier, I waited probably about 10 minutes because they were super busy inside there. Um, they don't look as busy now, but I'm sure they are. All right, you guys, I am here at McDonald's. I accepted an order on DoorDash. So it's my first DoorDash of the day. It's a decent one. It's like $2 a mile, but nothing more than that. 3.2 miles for $6 for McDonald's. And I did do one um a little bit earlier for four dollars but it was like half a mile and uber says it was 0.9 miles but i didn't do the u-turn like they wanted me to um they wanted me to make two year turns and i did not so i cut that time in half so i would say i did 0.4 miles it was from it was going from mcdonald's to little caesars and if you are around this area then you know that's that's super close um now they're sending me 3.1 miles for 277 and that's a no so i'm gonna pause i'm gonna go offline with uber for a couple minutes so i can do this doordash really fast let me slide after arrival i feel like i've been going forever because i've been going since seven o'clock today instead of eight <laughs> But I'm already at um, 32 plus four, so $36 plus now this $6. So I'm doing pretty good, you guys. I'm super happy about that. All right, I just got another order for a McDonald's. It just popped through. I'm clicking on the wrong stuff. It's a McDonald's order for $6, but this one is way closer. It's only 1.3 miles, you guys. So I'm super happy about that. I am right next to McDonald's and then it's going right behind the neighborhood Walmart. So I don't have to go very far for this one at all. I'm pumped. All right, you guys, for that order from McDonald's on DoorDash, I had to wait entirely too long for an Uber order. It was literally a kid's Happy Meal and two large Cokes. And I felt like that was the last thing that she did. And she was taking people's orders when mine was almost done being bagged. I'm like, are you serious, lady? Um, but I am back here again now for an Uber order for 1.1 miles for $6 going in the same neighborhood. 
that I was just in. So hopefully this order will be almost ready. I don't even know what's in it. Let me look real quick. Another kids happy meal and a caramel frappe. So that should not take that long. I'm hoping that it's going to be done. It's 1101 right now. I had to drive here. So I would say I got it around 11 o'clock or like probably 1059. 10.59 I got the order so it took me two minutes to get over here and start recording and stuff so we'll see how it goes this time all right you guys I had to wait I would say maybe five minutes for that one for McDonald's so a lot less of a wait time but still a wait time for the same almost the same thing except for actually less stuff because the last one was two um, large cokes and this one was just one drink um, but it's done. It's dropped off and I am heading to where am I heading to Jersey Mike's now for an order Now that I'm at the light I can show you guys It's for 3.3 miles for seven dollars and 48 cents on uber. So I'm heading to Jersey Mike's now I Am I was about a mile away, so it's gonna be like a two mile delivery. So not bad you guys I'm gonna give you a little update. It is about 11.15 and I'm at $39 on Uber, but I have done those two trips where I still need the tips to pop through. Plus I'm doing the Uber. Oh no, one of the tips did come through. Oh no, I still need one tip to come through because the other one was DoorDash, I'm sorry. So 39 plus the $3 for the tip, that's 42. Plus, I'm doing this one for $7. So, what did I just say? $42. So, $49. Plus, I think like $12 from $12 on DoorDash. So, I've hit my goal, my halfway goal already before 12 o'clock. So, that's really good. Uber um, has actually come through a lot today. All right, I got that order for. Jersey Mike's dropped off which it was ready when I went in there so I was super surprised about that because they were both um, it was two subs two regular subs and they were both cheesesteaks or whatever so I'm surprised that they were both ready um, and I'm already heading to Chick-fil-a now for an order for three miles but it's gonna take me two miles just to get there so three miles for seven dollars for Chick-fil-a so I'm almost there now probably like a mile left and then I will be there and it's gonna be a super close delivery so that's good I paused my DoorDash for this one because DoorDash they're not sending me that that much good rides so it's not worth it for me to keep it on and try and get a ride when I'm still doing the Ubers now because they're not sending me any good ones all right, you guys, I had to wait a little bit in Chick-fil-A. I don't know what it is today with the waits. Probably, I would say, almost almost 10 minutes. Um, but now I'm heading to Starbucks for an order for $12.75. The mileage is 5.8, so it's still $2 a mile. Um, and I'm pretty close. Like, after I dropped off that Uber for Chick-fil-A, like, I'm half a mile from Starbucks. So it's going to be about... Hmm, what did I just say? 5.8, so about five miles for the delivery, you guys, for this order. And it's 12 o'clock right now. All right, you guys, so it's been a little while and I actually recorded a whole thing and then I realized that it was recording for like 12 minutes. So I'm like, oh no, let me just leave that and just start over with that clip that I had recorded. So basically I said that the order for Starbucks that I recorded last, they actually gave me a little bit extra. So I got $13 in change for that. And they actually left me a funny note. It said, please don't leave food on the ground with the ants and the bugs. And please don't leave on top of the trash can. That's very unsanitary, which some drivers have done. Which, that is totally disgusting. I don't know why somebody would leave their food on the trash can. And, I mean, if your order is to leave at the door, then I would understand why they would put it on the ground. But theirs was a meat at the door. I guess maybe some people do that and just say, hey, I met them at the door and dropped it and went. I don't know. Um, and then I did a 0.9 miles for Chick-fil-A for $5.75. I had to wait there for about five minutes. Everywhere today has been a wait. 
Then I went to Firehouse for four miles for $8.50. And I probably waited a long time there. I probably waited about 15, 20 minutes for that. Ridiculous. But they gave me $9 for that order. So they gave me 50 cents extra. And then I just picked up Tokyo Sushi Hibachi for three miles for $8.50. And 96 cents and then while I was waiting they gave me an add-on for Taco Bell so I just pulled up to Taco Bell 2.4 miles for six dollars and 57 cents so I'm about to head inside now and grab that and I will be back all right you guys so since that order it was the Taco Bell and what was the other one Tokyo Sushi Hibachi I had to wait a little bit at Taco Bell but both of them got dropped off they were super close to each other um, and then I accepted one for Tropical Smoothie for 1.2 miles for $5, which they didn't tip. I thought they tipped $3, but they tipped $2 because I got $3 from Uber. So that was pretty crappy. Um, and then I finally went to pick up my dad's shoes. And I just accepted a Huey Magoo's for 2.7 miles for $6.50. And then they gave me an add-on for 2.4 miles for $5.25. So I got both of them already. I'm already heading to deliver the first one. It is um, a regular customer. So I just dropped off that order. Well, both those orders, really. They weren't that far apart. I've delivered to both neighborhoods all the time. Um... Like I said, the first customer I delivered to him probably every other week or every week. Uh, I got an order. No, no, no. Blah, blah, blah. Start over. That customer gave me, no, 7.6 miles for 6.19, no. The Jersey Mike's customer that was worth, it was worth $5 and change. They gave me a $3, no, $2 cash. So that made that order five, so $7 and what was it like 725 now yeah so that order would be worth 725 now so hey that's two days in a row I've got cash that's nice it goes right in my Elvis bank at home and that goes for whenever I want to use it for whichever trip we take which I did not um, use it this trip so whatever I've made is still in there that's good that's not a good order either <laughs> Uh, not a good order either. I will let you guys go. I'm going to let you know if I take any more orders. Um, I could probably do maybe one or two depending on how long they take. But then I will be done. I got an order for 2.9 miles for Tokyo Sushi Hibachi for $8. So I'm heading there now. I'm still on my way back to my plaza. So it'll be probably about two and a half miles for the delivery I would say and this might be my last order I'm gonna try and get one more though you guys all right you guys I am home and if you are still here thank you so much for watching this video I really appreciate it I hope you have subscribed if you are new and like this video and then let me know that you subscribe down in the comments so I can get you added for the giveaways right now I'm just gonna go over my totals for the day <clears throat> And of course, I just sneezed like four times on the way up the stairs. So now I probably sound crazy. Um, but my total for mileage, um, about nine hours, was 87 miles. So a little bit more because I dashed and Ubered a little bit more. And then let's see. With Uber, I did 14 trips today for $104. And... 85 cents so I did really good with uber uber started off strong this morning that was eight hours online and then with doordash I did two dashes because I I think it uh doordash was glitching because I know I unpaused myself but it said I didn't and that I was paused too long and my dash ended but the first one was 21 dollars for three rides that was $9, $6, and $6. And then the next one was $19.75. That was a $8, $5.25, which she gave me a $2 cash tip. So that was like $7.25 for that one. And then $6.50. So <clears throat> uh, that made a total of $146, I think. No, $147.60. 
So that's pretty good, you guys, for eight hours minus my gas. I would say like $10 for gas um, for the day, just getting to a pop and then getting home and all my driving that I did today. So not bad. That's still profiting $137. So that's good. Well, I didn't minus taxes, but minus the gas is $137. Um, I think it was overall a great day. I did have to wait a lot at, uh, I think, almost every restaurant today, you guys. I don't know what it was about today, but it was wait, 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 wait. Every restaurant I was waiting, I think, I can't even remember, like, one time where the food was ready. I'm sure there was a couple times where the food was were ready, but majority of the time I was waiting. Um, but you know what? That happens sometimes. Sometimes I don't wait. Sometimes I do. I didn't, I didn't have any issues other than the wait time. So that's good. I still haven't heard from DoorDash, from the supervisor or whoever is supposed to contact me. I don't know if they really are or they're not. Um, I'm still waiting. As of right now, it's still the half pay for the $3 and change, which is ridiculous. I'm going to jump off of here now and I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great night. And I hope you guys met your goals and whatever you guys did today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. A young boy being made dreaming. And in the dream. <laughs>